Okay, hey everyone and welcome to another Class 66 Rocks Stobart review. Now, you may notice that during these Stobart reviews the screen here seems a bit dark and that's because I've got my iPad switched on and the lighting does come back as you will have seen in my previous review once I switch my iPad off. Um, so, the reason why I use my iPad is to show you which model I'm reviewing because I haven't got the boxes to any of these models anymore, unfortunately. So, Today we are going to be looking at this model here, it's a DAF XF Super Space Cab, it's got the product number CC13201, it's a Curtin side trailer, um, the registration number is R69VSW, um, but unfortunately it doesn't tell us the fleet number, but we will get to that in a minute. So what I'll do now, I'll just switch my iPad off and as you can see, voila, the lighting comes back again. So I'll just move my iPad out of the way and we will get on with the review. So here we have it, the Kate Inside trailer and the DAF XF480. So, I'll put the trailer down and we will start off with the cab. So, first off, it has got a bit of weight to it, not too much and not too light. It's a six wheel tractor unit and it is a DAF. So, starting with the front, we can see across the top here, we've got the Stobart wording in black and gold. Moving down now, we can see we've got the mirrors on the left and the mirror on the right, including the blind spot mirror. Here we have got the Stobart arrows on the left and the right hand side, which are in gold and the backdrop is red. And the name on this particular truck is, I think, Deborah... Heather, I think. Um, so what I'll do, I'll just have a look closer and remove the truck from the camcorder. Yes, and the name is actually Deborah Heather. So <laughs> even the camcorder was struggling. I think the cab might have just a slight bit of a scuff mark, making the H look like an N, but it is Deborah Heather. Moving down now towards the grille section, we can see it's a DAF 95XF. Here on the left and the right hand side, we can see it says XF 400. Now, I actually thought these DAFs were actually 480s. Um, but this one is a XF 400, which I've never actually heard of before. Um, but if you have heard of it, please leave your comments below. So moving down now, we can see we've got a slight little bit of a mark there, just above the left headlight. But here we have the lights and the indicators on the left and right hand sides. And also on the bottom here, we have the number plate R69VSW. And these are either spot lamps or fog lamps, but I think these might be fogs. So. Let's turn the cab around now and on the side here we can see we've got the Stobart flag design which featured on all the old cabs back in the day. We've also got a very stunning Stobart gold arrow there which just is mainly on the green half of the bodywork and just borders above onto the white there. So on the bottom here we usually have the fleet number but there's not one on this side. Um, so what we'll do is we'll have a look on the other side in a minute to see if it features on that side. As we can see here we've got a red surround on the fuel tanks and turning the cab around now to the back we can see we've got these very delicate air lines. These are what plug into the trailer um, but you have to be careful not to snap them when you're fitting them into the trailer because they've got a tendency to keep pinging out sometimes. So here we have got the brakes and the indicators on the reversing lights on the left and right hand sides. 
just above, just below the wheel arches as you can see and again the number plate so let's turn this cab round and again on the other side we have no fleet number um, I'm not too sure why this one was made without no fleet number because usually Stobart's models do have them but this particular one doesn't so I'm not too sure why but if you do know the fleet number of Deborah Heather um, registration number R69VSW please leave your comments below but as you can see there's nothing much different on this side at all so that is the cab so now we'll move on to the trailer so here we have the trailer as you can see it's a triaxle coat inside it and it's in the old Eddie Stobart Express Road Holy Specialist livery so what we'll do we'll start with the front of the trailer and as you can see we've got the Stobart arrows in gold here on the red backdrop and we've also on the bottom and right hand side got the trailer type as well as the two holes here which the airlines plug into. So turning the trailer around now we can see on the side here we've got Eddie Stobart Limited in red and gold and Express Road Holy Specialist in white. Now what is a very nice touch about this trailer is that Corgi have made all the trailer straps stand out in silver or oh, well grey silver as you can see all the way along here and it's absolutely identical the other side so underneath the trail here we can see we've got the trailer legs there and there so now we'll just turn the cab around and on the back here we can see we've got Eddie Stobart Limited in gold and red now here where it usually says Express Haulage or something similar, it actually has the old Eddie Stobart website which is www.eddiestobart.co.uk and again we've got the trailer type on the left and the right hand side here also on here we've got some hazard warning panels which are either side of the number plate and we've also got the brakes, indicators and reversing lights either side so turning the trailer around now we can see there's no difference on this side but it is absolutely stunning how they've done the trailer curtain straps like they have and obviously in newer models which will be coming to my channel um, you'll see that they also feature this type of design down there but that's it basically the DAF XF Super Space Cab and Curtain Side Trailer in Eddie Stobart livery.